once I've uh, told them what we found over there and given an idea of you know how he's gonna conduct the mission tomorrow, uh, I go back to the recon and we decide to go and write down a couple more things. Now it was during this time when we're doing the recon that the drones start to come out a little bit more. So this Kenshi, he's not just passing by; he is now circling us. You know, obviously right now I don't think I hear it because of the wind, but it would be later on that I, we end up hearing it, and it's kind of terrifying. It's a different sound than a TB2. It is a, so it's a drone that we don't really understand, and I'm honestly starting to panic a bit because we're caught in the open. There's nothing we can do. So I decide that we're all going to link up together um, at this spot that has a lot of concealment, and we're going to just explain what's going on. We're going to wait for the drone to pass by. But this is when I get this footage. So here's the same clip in slow-mo, and here's an Akinchi drone as seen from below. You can see the curved wings, you can see everything matches the description of an Akinchi. And here's footage that I have of a TV2, and obviously they look kind of similar, but this was not from the same day, and the sound, I'll tell you right now, is not the same. It is very, very different. This was terrifying, obviously. This is right above us, it's been circling us, so you can see that I am now, instead of tactically going back, nice and quiet, this training has got down. We gotta run back right now, or else this training can become a very real situation. So the, the thing about the Kenji, if I can describe it, it's got a couple of new technologies that were only made about two years ago, as the Kenji is much newer than the TB2. So it's got artificial intelligence uh, programmed inside it, so it can track where people go into tunnels, like we just did right now. This is footage of when we got back. And it's got plenty of other things that make it incredibly, incredibly more dangerous than the TB2 by rock power. So here we are, the morning of the raid. I decided that, yes, we are going to continue the training, just because it's realistic, doesn't mean we should stop. We decided, instead of going in the evening, we're going to go in the morning. So this is why I have to put the brightness so you guys can actually see what's going on. So here we are, heading back there, and the reason we do it in the morning, and a lot of gorillas actually do it in the morning, any, any raids or any attacks, is because the clouds are really heavy, the drones can't see you uh, most of the time because of the clouds. Yeah, you can see it's just moving up on the location, and I'm probably not going to talk as much anymore. I want you guys to see how we train for this. the night before, we had gathered up the ghillie suits, we had talked over the information, had uh, decided on the time of attack, and here we go, getting ready to do the assault. Alright, so, you understand where uh, target 1 target 2 is? Target 1 is the 2 trees, no? Oh, let me, let me show you. Phone. The 2 trees in the, in the left is target 1, and in the right Okay, I'll show you. Here's the 2 bushes, right? Yes. Uh, that target 1? Yes. That rock? Target 2. Okay, and so, these the 2 trees? In the left, target one, in the right, target two. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. Yes. So you need to be able to, you might want to push up the pixie a little bit. You need to be able to see us. We're going to be on the left, and I'll give you the signal. And when you see that signal, mm -hmm. fire a, you know, a burst so we know that you switched. Yes. Let's get up a uh, time. Okay. Hit the watch. Yes. Yeah, 9.07. Okay. Right. Start the burst, and then uh, yak yak. Because of the ammunition constraints of being a gorilla, we don't have all the ammunition in the world. I tell them to do yak yak uh, after a while, just for the training which means one and one. So one shot every five seconds, basically. Move up! I start to give the signal to the PKM to switch fires onto the further objective. So in a real scenario, I would not wait this long, but uh, for safety, he's gonna fire a burst when he sees the signal. Let's go! Let's go! I see that shot come out right there, so I then give him the signal to cease fire as the assault team moves in to go and steal any gear that we found, which is a crate that we put there the night before. <laughs> 